Now you have enough information to go ahead and try to gain access to other systems, to computers, servers, web servers and stuff like that. And in this section we're going to be talking about gaining access to computer devices. And what I mean by computer devices is any electronic device you see is a computer. So a TV, a laptop, a web server, a website, a network, a router, all of these things are computers. All of them have an operating system and they have programs installed on these operating systems. And usually, in most cases, these computers are used by a user. So you have an operating system, they have programs installed on that operating system, and they have a user who uses and configures this system. So I'm going to be talking about how you gain access to computers, in this example, an actual personal computer, so the name that people call it usually, a computer. So it's going to be, we're going to have a target of a Windows device, and we're going to have a target of a Linux device. But the concept is always the same. Getting access to computer devices is always the same. So you can apply the same concepts if you are targeting a phone, if you are targeting a tablet, if you're targeting a web server. And we will be targeting web servers as well. But I will be talking about it just like a normal computer. This is very important to understand. Every device you see is a computer and it works just like your personal computer. So I can set up a web server on my computer. I can make it look like a website and act as a website. I can make it act as a TV and I can make it act as anything I want. And literally TVs and all these things are just simpler computers with less complicated hardware in them. So we're going to be talking about attacking these devices from two main parts or from two main sides. The first approach that we're going to use is the server side. So in this side, it doesn't require any user interaction. We're going to have a computer and we're going to see how we can gain access to that computer without the need for the user to do anything for the user, who uses that computer to do anything. All we have is going to be an IP address and we're going to see how we can test the security and gain access to that computer based on that IP. So our main way of getting in is going to be the operating system that that target runs and the applications installed on that system. The second approach that we're going to try is the client-side attacks. So this approach will require the client or the person who uses that computer to do something. It could be installing an update, it could be opening a picture, it could be opening a Trojan. So we're going to learn how to create a Trojan, how to create backdoors, how to use social engineering to make the target person do something. And when they do that action, we will gain access to their computer. Information gathering is going to be crucial in this case, because we actually need to know the person that we're targeting. After all of that, I'm going to talk about the post-exploitation. So what you could do after you gain access to this computer, regardless of the method that you gained access to it. So you could have used a server-side exploit, you could have used a client-side exploit, or you could have just got a physical access, the person left their desk and you go in. So we're going to see what can you do once you have access to your target, how you could further exploit that target and increase your privileges or target other computers in the same place.